find efficacy and representation. So last week we um, did an introduction we talked about what efficacy was and what representation was. Now, the slides I'm showing are not available in Google. And I've since found out that there are no more booklets for community development. What I'm going to do when I get home tonight, or tomorrow, um, I will put the slides in class up in Google in the one, two, three, four, but I'm going to block it. So only you will be able to access them. If other people from different classes looked at these, they get really confused. Okay? So I will make sure that I go up and put those slides in um, I'll do that tomorrow after class. And we will be able to have a copy of all the slides. Okay, advocacy and representation. Quick introduction. Um, class phone end. It's face to face on campus from 1 to 3 pm. There is the expectation that we'll do some sort of study approximately five hours a week, but that's primarily your assessment. Class is held for 10 weeks, and um, my name is Corinne, Corinne Flory, and I will be your trainer. Feel free to email me if I can be of any help. Okay, so weeks one to six. This particular um, unit will four topics, topic one to four, we're covering in six weeks. Same as the science unit. Week 7, 8, 9, and 10 will be for assessment 3 observations, role play evaluations. Okay, so we've got a fair bit of content in it uh, to introduce the unit, but it's basically representing the interests of the service users. Okay? And representation of community development, community representation in the industry, roles and positions. And the whole aim of this unit, the whole aim is to influence. Policy, processes, and decision making forums. This unit is about change as well. Okay? We are our clients' voice. We work with very vulnerable clients, and they don't always um, have a voice and they don't want to be heard. That is our role in advocacy and representation. So it applies to people in health, community services, or advocacy settings, and we are representing our clients. We are our client's voice. So it's the expectation that you pretty much work independently, you'll be able to make good judgments based on the evidence, and take responsibility for outcomes. Four topics. We are working on topic one, establish the representative role and the process. So for those that missed class last week, you can either look at the PowerPoint I put up tomorrow, or you can go back to your learner guide. Okay, very similar to our other unit, assessment plan and agreement form due by Sunday night. Okay, it takes you 10 minutes, just please put them in. Thank you. Assessment one, questions are due at the end of week six. <coughs> assessment two, case studies for week seven, and then our simulations and observations. Okay, this particular session, um, assessment three, is a presentation. We present you. Okay, as I mentioned, I always go through every single assessment before they're due with the class. Okay, so I will open them up, go through all the questions, and be very clear and make sure you understand what is required for the assessment. Okay? We will look at assessment one in week four. We will look at assessment two in week five. See, this is why I get frustrated when people like to class. Okay. Okay, you're late. Let's start it. One more, yeah. Always one more. <laughs> Always one more. Okay, so week four, week five, week six, I will take you through the assessments. Please take a note of this. You must attend at least 50% of your classes before assessment three. Otherwise, you're being assessed on something you haven't learned today. You have a responsibility to come to class. And what I said this morning, Get that 100, 200 bucks, can't rip it up, throw it out the window, you know, come to class. It's a waste of money. So, 50% of the class by the end of week six. Okay, last week we talked about representation and advocacy. We looked at the definitions first. Probably the first class of any units that most important because it gives you a framework that we're going to talk about. If you miss the first week, you're missing a large chunk of information. 
So last week we talked about what representation and advocacy was, which is the essence of this unit. Roles and processes of representation, so conditions of work and skills of representation, work and skills of advocacy, working in the sector, and developing and promoting interest. Okay, today we are covering in your learner guide, which is in Moodle for this unit, topics 1.3 to 1.6, identifying and developing alliances, alliances, relationships, and partnerships. Consultation and accountability, industry position statements. We talked briefly about that last week, and then finally, the stuff that we hate reporting and evaluation. Okay, before we do that, we are going to do an activity. Can I get everyone to stand up, please? How many people have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15 years ago. 15 divided by 89. What's that? Quick. 94 each. 15 divided by 19. How many is that? 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. Oh. Okay. See these, ladies and gentlemen? I want everybody to randomly pick six each. No, nine each. Nine, nine each. Nine, nine each. Six, six, six. Nine each. Go. Six each. No, I want all of them gone. So I'm going to take nine. a couple as well. Six but everybody needs to get a handful of these. Six each, yeah. Nine each. I don't know. You guys are going to be able to do some basic maths. Oh, just pick up any random ones. Yep. Put it you in want a hand? Have a little break. Okay. If there's okay, come on, jump in or you're gonna miss out. Yeah, have you missed out? There you go. Alright, there's some more. Okay, I want everyone to have at least has anyone missed out? Okay, if it doesn't matter, just grab yeah, you know. Who wants more? Alright, have you got any? Okay. Alright, come on, share around. Everyone, I want to have a handful of these. Has everyone got some? Anyone got two here? Excellent. Okay. I need two more. They're all gone, that's all that matters. Okay, go and sit down, everyone, while you're playing the game. Alright. Oh! Have a look at what's in your hand. Now, we don't have a lot of time to do this, so I'm not going to. You've got none. You're late. Okay, someone share. Okay. Now. Remember what I was talking this morning, we are doing a game that is identifying the capacity in this room. That's, we are a community. We are going to determine our level of capacity. This is what you will be doing when you're working with groups. This is what you're going to be doing when you're doing community development, advocacy and representation. Now, you can see around the room these blue signs. The first one is... We can do this well. Thumbs up. We can do it well. Down there. We can do this a little bit. See the difference? We can do it well or we can do it a little bit. See the difference? Okay. Then, we can't do this, but we know somebody who can. Or, we can do this and don't know anybody who these are the four areas. Now, everyone grab your piece of pen and paper. You are going to predict what percentage of these activities in everybody's hand as a collective group we can do well. Is it 10%, 50%, 80%? Write it down what you think Within this group, ladies, you're late, you've just now missed out on this activity. Okay, everybody write down the percentage. They think we're going to score out of 100. How many things, now there was 89 of those little bits, how many of those, what percentage do you think we can do well as a group? This is a collective group. 10%, 100%. Whatever things we got. No, no, don't even think about what you've got. Overall, now there's 89 of these in the classroom. What I want to identify is what percentage do you think we can do really well? 100%. Does that mean every single thing that's called out we can do really well? 1%, only a couple. Whatever, okay? So, everyone needs to write their percentage because this is what we're going to come back to. Okay, what's your percentage? 
Write it down. How do I want anyone checking? So I'm going to check. Can you put what you think is the same Yeah. What will you do? 85%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 50%. 
Preparing white goods. Now, white, white goods are fridges, ovens, dishwashers. Oh, I, I know someone who can. Who can prepare those? I can't. No. Somebody, I know somebody. But does anybody know who can? Yeah, I don't. You do? You can. Okay, so it goes, we can't do this but know somebody who can. Next person up. Thank you. Excellent. All right, what do we got? Operating switchboard. Pardon? Operating switchboard. Operating a switchboard. Is that IT? Yeah. yeah, it's like putting plugging people's yeah. phones in. It's like yeah. what I do we with the ACS. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you've got one person. I don't think I could. Yeah, I could probably do it a little bit. Yes, I can do that. Okay, but there's only three of us, so maybe where would you think that would go? <laughs> we can do it a little bit. What's the next one? Drive a car. Right? Sorry? Drive a car. Oh, oh, drive a car. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Hello, you can. We've got that skill. We can do that well. What's the next one? Sell food to large numbers. Sell food to large numbers. Sell food to large numbers. Oh, okay. I can. You can sell or make. Sell? Sell. Oh, I can sell food. Okay. Can people serve food? Hands up if you can serve food. Okay, where does that go? The good one. We fix, can do it well. Fix leaky taps. Oh, fix yeah. leaky taps. Yes. 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 You can do we can do it. Oh, 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 I cannot fix leaky taps. I can put the clothes on it and then it will stop. Okay, who can fix a leaky tap? Hands up, nice and tall, if you can fix a leaky tap. In a dodgy way, yes. In a dodgy way. Why can't you be in a dodgy way? Yes. Okay, we so are somebody. Like does anyone know? I know. Who can you can I know. Oh, I couldn't know. No, no I right. mean, I know somebody. <laughs> oh, okay. You know somebody. <laughs> okay, last one. Welding. Welding. Welding, Welding. yes. Welding. Oh, my God. Welding. Yes. Welding. 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 I can't Welding. weld. I've never welded. Yeah. Uh, Hard. Make sure you wear your mask. <laughs> okay. Are you serious? I'm serious. If right. I tell you, I'm she's, okay. she's like that. Never mind who touches. <laughs> okay. Who else can weld? Nobody. No. Okay. On the front, please. All right. I don't know anyone. Oh, I do know one person. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Who knows know someone who can weld? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone knows. Yeah. Okay. okay. Next person. Let's go. Who's next up? Nice and loud. Organize a street party. Organize a street party. Oh, I can do that. Yeah. One. Hey. I can do that. I can do that. Okay, we're very good at parties, right? I can do that. You yes, can me. Okay, shh, everyone, so we can hear. Repairing small appliances like, I guess, chainsaws, mobile and changing wires. Put your hand up if you can repair small appliances. I would probably, where would you do it? I would put it in. We could do it a little bit. Don't have to be experts. Okay, next one. Put people at. Ease. Put people at ease. Make Me. people feel comfortable. We're we'll community yeah. services workers. I expect everybody's hand to be up for this. Okay, excellent. We do that well. Good. Bake. Bake. Okay, so we can do that well. Good. What else? I know somebody. Filling papers. Filling papers. Ah, I can do that. Filling papers. 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 Filling papers.
General house repairs. Oh, house repairs. Uh, General <laughs> repairs. I can do that because I fix things all the time at my house. It's like I'm good at gutter. Using a chainsaw and shooting. Okay, anyone else good at house repairs? Okay, so there's not many of us, so where do you think we might be? But we can do it a little bit. There's a few of us who can do it. Okay, that's what we're looking at. The skills of the whole group. Okay, what else we got? Repair locks. Refer. Oh, repair locks. Key locks. No, oh god, I can't do that. Anyone do that? No. I know somebody who can do that with me. Yeah, the locks. Oh, well, that is a good friend to have. Thank you. Well done. Next one. Plumbing repairs. <laughs> plumbing? Yeah. Plumbing repairs. I know someone to do that. Who can do that? You are not. I know and I tell someone. you what, we cannot go without the toilet. We need a fish toilet. Okay, put it down the end. No, wow. we can do this. <laughs> I do like this one. Repairing trucks and buses. Trucks and buses. Oh. I don't even know anyone who can do trucks and buses. Same, same question. I know what mechanic is making really good friends. Get to that. Trucks and buses. Trucks and buses. What do you mean the list? Okay, what do we got? Sorry? Furniture making. Furniture making. Furniture making. Furniture making. I can't do that. Whose is this? I know somebody can do this. Sorry, we know everybody. This is the connector in our community. Who's going to connect us to everyone we need? Yeah. Using a forklift. I just don't know. No, so I don't know why this is the implication. Not using a forklift. Okay, so you put that down here. Sorry, I don't know why this is the implication. I thought that was different. Anyway, who knows? Fixing washers and dryers. Washing machines and what? dryers. Who knows how to fix them? No. I don't know anyone that can fix the washer and dryer. Does anyone else? Yeah. Anyone else? Yeah. 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 I'm talking about our community, okay? Yeah. okay Alright, well done. Thank you. Who's Thank next? You. Come on. Moving on, moving on, moving on. We're running out of time. Okay, nice and loud. Selling retail products. Yeah. Selling what, sorry? Retail products. Retail. Oh, so that's talking about working in shops. Yeah. Working in retail. Okay, I'd say there's quite a few of us. Yep, we can do that well. Good. Prepare meals for large numbers. Prepare news. Meals. 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 Meals.
Roofing. 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 Um, I know someone. I know someone who can roof. I can't do it. Okay, down here. We all know, but a few of us know someone who can prepare roofs. Um, general household cleaning. Household cleaning. General household cleaning. Oh, um, guys, I hate to think we've got a gender in you balance can. here. General. And that's not just general. seen as woman's work. I know, right? Ooh. We need to come to my diversity I class to talk about that. I don't, I don't have a choice. Yeah. I have to take it to the people. Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. All right, that's a that we can do this well. And fixing wash up. Okay, thank you. Next person. Okay, nice and loud. Must be getting close here. Still going. Drive up on my shirt truck. Oh, who's got a truck license? I know someone. Yeah, I know. My husband. Your husband has a truck license? All right, we're bringing him in, into our community. Okay, all right, so nobody can do it, but we know people who can. Thank you. Next one. Heating system installation. Who can install a heating system, like a fireplace or an air conditioner? No. I don't even know anyone. Yeah, I don't know anyone. Yeah. Oh, okay, so we don't know anyone who can do it. Fair enough, that's, that's a specialised skill. Selling retail products. Yeah. Okay, so we've done that. Let's pop this. Is, I don't know why we've got extras. My apologies. Okay, what's the next one? Keep activity records. Yeah. Key activity, activity records. Okay, hey, come on, guys. Community service is working. We've got to do this every day. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we do that well. Okay, more lawn. Oh, I can do that. Who can mow the lawn? Oh, mow no. the lawn, the grass. Oh, okay. no. Yeah. Okay, we can do that well up there. Okay, thank you. Next person out the front. Let's go. Plant and cure for guidance. Oh, that's my favorite. I grow the best veggies ever. I'm going to try and win the Guinness Bill World Book of Records for having grown the largest pumpkin. Plant projects. Pardon? Plant projects. Yes. Oh, I'm a good project planner. Remember we Lead talked about day. how important it is to plan and prepare, yeah. okay? So, you know, if we did this in two years' time, if you guys were working in industry, I'd expect everybody to have their hand up for that one. Good. If you like forms. Oh, I think we've done yeah, that one. Yeah, okay, next person. Thank you. Paint your room. Oh, I can uh, paint. I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we can do that. Well, yeah, it's yeah, fine. Yeah, it's yeah. nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, operating a cash uh, register. Yeah. Cash register. Yeah, yeah, I used to do that. Uh, F cost cash, cash register. Yeah. Okay. Floor mopping. Ah! Oh, oh, yeah. Mopping the floor. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We have to have a clean floor. That's the first thing that yeah. we don't know. That's the international student. All right, come on, guys. Let's go. Um, see a neighbor. Uh, seeing oh, a neighbor. I don't uh, know. Oh, like what? Doing what? what was it, sir? Oh, yeah, see a neighbor. See your neighbor. See your neighbor. Oh, visiting a neighbor. Who visits oh, the yes. neighbors? Or talks to their neighbors? No. Oh, no, if they're no, nice no. enough. If they're nice, they're not all nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We can do that well. Good. And last one is keep activity records. Oh, oh, I've done that. Yeah, yeah, that. Thank you very much. Next person. All right. Oh, bookkeeping and accounting. Yeah. I did before. Uh, I can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We've got quite a few hands up. Okay. That, that we can do that well. We know how to balance budget. You need to know that in your services. Okay. What else have we got? Using commercial food preparation equipment. Using commercial. No. no, that's one of those massive oh, massive no, no, triple burn deep essence. fries. You can do that? No. No? <laughs> Does anyone know who can? Yes. Yep. I know who yeah, can. All right. We know someone who can do that. Thank you. What else we got? Um, repairing radios and TVs. No. Fridges and TVs. Radios and TVs. Oh, radio. oh radios and TVs. Oh, God, I can't do that. I'd electrocute myself. Why is there a construction work? Because that's what a community needs. 
Okay. Think about this. Think about what we're asking. These are skills that every community needs. So if we don't have someone who can fix a leaky tap, we're going to have no water. And if we don't know one, that's another. <laughs> exactly. So these are. This is this is our community analysis. This is what you would do with the community. You've got to work out what do they know. What do they need to know? Where are the gaps? Okay, what have we got left, sir? Okay, breastfeeding support. Breastfeeding support. Yeah. I can do that. I'm a mother of five and six grandchildren. <laughs> 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 Breastfeeding support is like helping new mothers oh. engage with their babies and learn how to properly breastfeed maybe and maybe suckle. Maybe so I can do that. I know but, someone. Oh, yeah, look, <laughs> I'd say a little bit. I can, I can do it. In the it. future, we can all do all the we can do it well, in the future. If we choose to have children. Thank you. Not everyone yeah. chooses to have children. Know, right? Thank you. Know, you. Next person. <laughs> Okay, what have we got? Right before. Pardon? Right before. Right. Very nice one. Oh, right reports. I think we've done that one, so I'm going to keep that separate. Preparing special diet. Oh, preparing? preparing special diets. So you might have clients who are diabetic, who are allergic to nuts, who have high cholesterol, so have to have special meals. Who can, who, who's a nutritionist? Who knows how to I don't know. Does anyone know? <laughs> yes, yes ma'am, I know. Okay, so I think we can honestly say, we don't know how to do it, but we know people who can. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Selling wholesale products. Huh? Selling wholesale products. Oh, it's done. Yeah. Already done. It's already done. Already done. I know this is selling Hold, wholesale, wholesale products. Oh, wholesale it's selling to products. the public. Yeah, it's selling, it's selling to companies that sell to the public. Ah, uh, yeah. So it's, like I, a sales so it's similar, similar to sales. Who can sell? Yeah, I'm. I okay. do like. Okay. Alright, oh, I think we can do that one. Thank you. Care for people with mental illness. Oh, yeah. Who can care for people with a mental illness? I haven't been doing it. I can do it, but. Alright, we can do that well. I would expect every hand to be up. The next time we do this, we are coming in the this guy. Helping first time mothers, brand new mums with brand new babies. I can help. Um, okay. I don't have a help. Oh, well, hold up. Okay, who's left? Help. Who's next? Mums and babies. You guys, have you done yours? No. You've still got yours to do? I have to do this. Okay, right. Okay. Everyone else has done this. Let's nice and loud. Start oh. the community garden. Oh, start oh. your community garden. We have a lovely community garden in Bathurst. And um, it's so nice to see someone. Who's involved? Okay, we can do that well. Furniture repairs. Oh. Repairing oh. furniture. The chair's got a broken leg. Does someone know how to fix it? <laughs> but does anyone know who can fix it? Yes. I know someone. Oh, <laughs> I know someone. Who can do it? You have to the people with Okay, who can care for people I, with I, disabilities? I try. Well done. Make a budget. Yes. Huh? Yes. Make a budget. Make a budget. Make a budget. Oh, yeah. Budget. Budget. Oh, budget. Sorry. Oh, oh, budget. Sorry. Yeah. oh, yeah. I can do that. We can do that. Well, good one. Wallpapery. Oh, I can wallpaper. I don't know if anyone's still wallpapers. Can we? Anyone? Oh, they do. They do it on the block. No. no. I can't wallpaper. I can't even cut no. straight. Can you I know someone. Does anyone know? Everyone. Anyone. Can. How many people know someone who can wallpaper? Yeah. Couple? Borderline? Mm. Alright. Okay, that's right. Drive the bus. Who drive the bus. can drive the bus? It's a truck. Oh. This is a bus. You have to have a special license for a bus over 12 people. Hang on, where'd you put that one? No. No one. Can anyone drive a bus? No. No. I know someone. You know someone? I know someone here. Yeah. I know someone. Okay, alright. Thank you. We'll put it in the we know someone. Outreach in community for inclusion. Oh, outreach, outreach work in community for inclusion, which means you're going out to isolated families and people to engage them in community. So you're going oh, out there, there doing, doing outreach. Oh, you're you leaving are. your centre. Yeah. 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 Okay, we can do that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next person. Okay. Getting close to the end now. You're doing really well. Thank you. As I said, these are the things the community needs. It's not just about community services. 
It's about can you fix the little in Okay. Care for the sick. For older children. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 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 Here for older people? Older people, oh yeah. 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 Yes, yes, I know. I've done, done that. <laughs> oh, who can take a phone message accurately? Taking a phone message. They should hope so. Taking a phone message. Oh, you're ringing up. You know, they want to speak to someone. They're not there. You're taking the message. Can you do that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to be accurate if you're taking the message. Okay, last, last couple. Exercising. Oh, who's going to do that? Okay, we can do that well. Electrical repairs. Can anyone work with electricity? Keeping in mind, electricity can kill. It's very dangerous. Okay, hang on. Where do we get to the electricity? Can anyone? No one's an electrician? Does anyone know an electrician? Yes. All right. We know someone who can. Thank you. Install windows. Well, huh? Install. Install windows. Install. Yeah, that's install. the fancy one. I don't know the one. Install. Maybe three. I, I know someone. Yeah. Vaguely. Yeah. Yeah. I think most of us are probably saying we don't know someone. He's saying you know one person. Yes. There's only one person in the group who knows someone. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. So it's pretty solid. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Next. We've got two left, guys, then we're going to do our calculation. We can have three. All right, so I hope you guys know how to use statistics and numbers. Pardon? Mule shape. Shed. 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 The green uh, one. A little one. <laughs> I guess if you think it's one of those ones you have to put together and it has good instructions, I might be able to. <laughs> Does anyone know someone who can build a shed? Yes. I don't know. Build what? Okay. Thank you. Next one. Window washing. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, window washing, they need to wash these outside windows, let me tell you. Car repair. Car repair, we've had that, pop that there, thank you. Organise field trips. Oh, organise a field, field trip trips. or an excursion. Do you know, uh, taking a group of young people out. Yes. Oh, yeah? To the movies. Oh, yeah. Taking some older <laughs> people <laughs> to the movies. We should all be able to do that. We can do that. Can do that. <laughs> on way or two on it. Bathroom, kitchen renovation. Bathroom, kitchen renovation. Are you listening to me? Bathroom, are you listening to me? Bathroom and kitchen renovations. I can't do that. Anyone else? You can't buy the bathroom. You can't have a bathroom. You're stopping me. Does anyone know anyone who does bathroom and kitchen? I can mix the field. So most of the things in bathroom are done in bathroom. All right, you're going to bring your your father-in-law into our community. We need. Plastering. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. No. What is no. plastering? Plastering. <laughs> mix it. <laughs> I don't know. What, mix not it mixing. Mix it. It's like powder and water. You mix it with the right consistency and then put it. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, oh, no. Please, please do that. Maybe just a little. All right. Thank you. Last person. Let's go. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So we had a total of 77 different skills that we identified. Okay. Who's good at counts? Anyone? Any good maths people? Huh? Okay, 42, we can do well. What percentage is that? 42, we can do well. Okay, so, the way to work out a percentage is 100 divided by 77. What is it? 47. Okay, is that right? Have you checked that? No. Okay, so if we do a calculation, thank you, man. Um, if we do a calculation, where's my calculator? We have 77 skills we've identified. So, 100 divided by 77 equals 1.29. 1.29 times 42. Does that tell me who we had? 54%. Who had? Who was close to 54%? I said 62, that's up. Stand up if you're close to 54%. What do you have? What percentage did you have? Me? What did what percentage? Stand up. You were on the wall. You think we're pretty good. 50. 50? Stand up. You're close. Girls, are you close to 54? Pardon? 50. Stand up. Come on, guys. Anyone else close to 54 percent? Stand up. She was 60. Stand up, 60. That's close. How many do you have? Stand up. Okay. Look around you. How many people are standing up? Right. Okay, so going through that activity shows you what the least of your group is. 54%. We as a group could do well. There was only three or four things that we couldn't do and didn't know who to ask. Okay, sit down. Thank you, everyone. So the idea of that activity is showing you capabilities in a room. And this is what you're going to be doing when you're doing community development and advocacy and representation. You need to know the skills of the people you're working with. And you need to identify the gaps. What are our gaps? Wood stripping. Knocking out walls. Installing windows. And installing heating systems. Okay, so we have a big skill gap in, in, in um, I think so. Everyone buy like uh, portable heaters here. That's why we don't know. They can you afford the electricity bill? If you're dealing with clients living in poverty, they cannot afford to pay a thousand dollar electricity bill. Okay, well done, everyone. Thank you for participating. And what a skillful group we are. Yes. <laughs> so if we get stranded on an island now, I'm going to do an activity with you where we do get stranded on an island and you have to choose what we're going to take. 
but then something happened. Okay, let's move on. Thank you, everyone. Okay, topic one, one point two, identify and support of key people and develop strategic alliances. <coughs> So, strategic alliances are basically partners. So, if you think about a strategic alliance, it's a relationship with someone that's going to benefit us. Okay, that's really nice. Okay, um, all right, so we need to develop alliances and partnerships with key people and groups. Okay, everyone's attention, please. And that means we can work together to improve the effectiveness of the representation process. Okay, strategic alliance is an agreement between two or more individuals, groups, and organisations. Now, remember this morning we were looking at funding opportunities. We went to the Community Grants website. There were about 20 different funding If you actually read those in detail, government funding bodies like it when groups work together. It costs us money. Because people are combining their resources and working together. So developing partnerships is always a good thing. And when we're doing representation and advocacy, we have to consult the key people. So, if we're talking about these strategic alliances and partnerships, what are the benefits? Okay, first of all, we're pulling the human, financial, and other resources of multiple parties. We've got two groups working together to run a program, and the government runs them separately. They're going to have to pay the staff separately. They're both going to have to have equipment. They're both going to have to have equipment and resources, etc. Whereas if they work together, they can share the same stuff. They can use one thing instead of two. They can share computers. They can share human resources. The people that pay you can pay both organisations. That is immediately a cost-saving thing when we pull our resources together. Okay? No different to this activity here. If we had to pay someone for every single thing we did well, we'd have no money that was so the other benefits of strategic alliances is increasing understanding of interests and concerns. We can learn from others in the okay, So this is a community of learning. This is a community of practice where we're learning from each other. Um, we can have a better impact of our strategies and we have the potential to improve the profile within the project. Okay, so this is a reality check. So of course there's lots of benefits. We always have to keep an open mind and look at both sides. So to develop a strategic alliance, it's important time. I think about when I've worked in rural and remote areas and I've had to develop relationships with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander leaders in the community. It's not something you do So often, relationships can take a long time to build. That's a disadvantage. Um, there can be conflict. Not everybody agrees. And we even saw that today when we were identifying where we must belong. Um, so there can be conflict relating to objectives, priorities, and values. It depends on the organisation as to what their priority is. It might be different from yours. Um, what happens when we've got strategic partnerships is we increase our communication channels, which means there's a lot more communication coming up between the two organisations or two partners. However, saying that, if communication is increasing, we still have to monitor, we have to check what's going on. We can't just let people put things up on Facebook or social media or even speak to the, um, the newspaper without checking what's going on. So we need to make sure that if we increase our communication, that there's a monitoring process in place. Someone's checking that communication. So if communication's wrong, we can get um, There can be times when not all stakeholders are happy with their lives. Okay, so there might be people that say, hang on a sec, I've really done everything with that organisation. Why do we need to work with an Aboriginal organisation when I mean, we have a different cultural background? So, you know, there will be some people who aren't happy 
And as I mentioned before, if things are not shared, then you will never be able to train the resources. You've got a partnership. The expectation is that both parties will contribute. You don't just want one doing all the work and the other organisation doing it. Have you guys done any project work as an uh, assessment of projects where you worked in groups? Just in a class. Okay, so sometimes what we find, particularly when you get to a university level, is you will be designated a group. Okay, this forum, you've got to create this project and do an assessment. There's always someone who doesn't do that. Always someone who doesn't contribute. And then what you find is there's one or two people doing all of the work for the group. That's an example of what happens here. So, if we're not sharing the workload equally, we're going to run into problems. Get frustrated. Okay, so alliances, who could they be? We need to identify the benefits. Most of our alliances will come from our professional networks. Yes. So we know in our community who does work, what services are available, and how we can work together. We need to identify the key people. As I mentioned, the Aboriginal community will always go to the elders first. The local community, you might go to an older person or a person who's politically active in the line of people know. And then, of course, there's that whole consultation. Okay, so to develop an alliance, as you can see by this image, you can't remember all those words, think of the picture. Okay, these are links and they are all joined together. Okay, so to develop an alliance, we need to follow organisation policies and procedures. Each organisation So we just don't go out and start a relationship or a partnership with, our, you know, with another organisation unless we've got a group to do it. That's generally from your CEO or your board management. Um, we need to approach groups or individuals or organisations and propose the alliance. Yeah, let's, let's work together. Then you have to negotiate terms the majority of the time there will be a formal group agreement between both parties. And quite often they'll call that a memorandum of understanding, a contract agreement. But there needs to be something written to say we're going to work together. This is how we're going to do it. Okay, we talked about key people. So identifying individuals, groups, and organisations that can support and promote our representation services. We need to develop strategic relationships that actually can help us improve the quality of our representation. If we're hanging out with the right people, we'll get noticed. If okay? you're not hanging out with anyone or hanging out with the wrong people, you won't. Okay, no matter how skilled we are, and we're pretty skillful, look at that. You know, over 54% over we can do well. All those things are great. So no matter how skilled we are, linking with others builds additional skills, knowledge and resources. So some people could do things, other people could but we had someone that could do it, or the connectors, new people who could do it. Okay, so that's about um, bringing those additional skills, knowledges, and resources together. Okay, consultation. Whoa, you guys have probably done this to death. Um, what do you think we need to do? Support to set up the consultation structure. Okay, so this is where your CEOs and general managers are coming, people who are experienced in consultation or really understand the community that you're working with. So when we talk about consultation, we need someone to help set up the structure. How are we going to do the consultation? So we need to consider a number of things. The first one is who are we going to consult? What needs to be discussed? In what order the discussions need to occur? What follow up will be done? What is the time frame? Very important, we're talking about consultation, at this in representation, that we have a time frame, we can't let it go on forever. Okay? And in most of the time, we don't have to commit with those
have a community that has no facilities for young people. We want to build a skate park. We are going to try and develop some alliances with the local government who has the money to develop a skate park. Who do we need to consult? Who's the first person that comes to mind when you think about consultation about a skate park? Come on, this is a safe environment, it doesn't matter, it's not about right and wrong answers, it's about using our brains. Coming up, who do we, we're going to build a skate park. Who is the first person you need to consult? Council. Council. Council's a good one, yes, yeah. But who's, who's the skate park for? The community. The community and the young people. So generally the young people are the first person we're going to consult. Then we go to the money maker. The approvals, the decision makers, which is in this case council. But please don't ever forget when you're consulting, you don't forget to consult with your clients. You don't forget to consult with your clients. Okay? People often talk about yes, we've got to go to the government, we've got to go here, we've got to go this, 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 and often forget. You've always got to consult with the person or the group or the projects you're doing. All right, so lots of things. Who will be consulted? What are you going to discuss? What order do those need to occur? Follow up, time frame, and expected outcomes. Okay, so we have what we call an accountability structure. As you can see by that picture, there's a framework there, there's a structure. If you take a few of those beams out, the whole thing will probably fall down. So we need a framework. Next. Talking about accountability, it's identifying how the representation service, the PC service, will measure and report outcomes. And who are they going to report to? So we've got to do this planning and preparation for the end stuff. Okay? So this must be done prior to any representative of the services occurring. So we need to know how we're going to measure, report outcomes, and who we're going to report to first. Key people can assist in identifying how the representation services will be held accountable and to whom. So if we're giving money to advocate and represent, you're going to have to be responsible and answer it for someone. Government just doesn't give you money and say, have a nice day. Here's a million bucks. Maybe this is to provide aged care services. You know, I'm not even going to check what you do with that million dollars. You and your mates can come holiday to um, So we're accountable. Okay. All right. Okay, key people, community leaders, experts and researchers. Okay, so just keep in mind, a lot of the time, already the hard work is done. Research has been done, so you need to go back and check. Policy makers or decision makers. And these are probably the most important policy makers and decision makers because they often hold the money, they hold the power. So we want to be friends with them. We want them on our side. And we can also go to pick bodies and groups. Okay, now we have this thing called industry position statements. We spoke about this last week. We talked about industry positions. For example, if you're working in aged care, you know, one of the industry position statements they might have is that we hope to keep older people in their house for as long as possible. We don't want to put people in residential facilities if they can stay at home with you. So that might be a position statement for aged care. So basically it's statements that explain the views of our group on a specific issue. And the representation, the representation service needs to identify or develop an industry position through consultation with key people or discussions with key bodies. So in the particular scenario I just gave, you would have an alliance of aged care providers working together to come up with their position. Um, you also need to make sure that those that are representing people understand the industry they represent. They need to know what the issues are for all people. They need to determine the client group, identify the workers, identify the services provided, and identify gaps in service provision. And you need to determine who are the key people Industry. And most organisations, particularly aged care for example, has a national big organisation that a lot of aged care services are members of. Okay, 
Okay, so if we're developing an industry position, we to find community leaders, experts, and researchers, mainstream media. So we're going to look and find out what's been reported. Policy or decision makers, they're the ones with the money and they're our buckets. Um, resource managers and service users, big bodies and groups. Okay, we're going to watch a couple of videos. The first one is five steps to becoming an advocate. Okay. And this is something you guys are going to be um, working on as far as your assessment goes. Okay, now, this is a TED talk. Have you guys watched any TED videos before? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they're good. They're really good. They always yeah. inspire me. This one is um, from a young man called Joseph, and he talks about five steps to becoming an advocate. Whether you feel you can or you can't, you could or you should, I have five easy steps to guide you through your advocacy journey. One, lock down those motivations. Advocacy at the core is a deeply embedded sense of purpose. For it's defined by act that aims to influence the decisions within social, economic, and political systems and institutions. No small act. And if done right, it's a life's work. Two, establish some role models. Tanya Hosh is an Australian rules football executive. However, she wants to see Aboriginal people represented in the Australian Constitution. Malela Yousafzai was shot in the head at 15 years old going to school. She lived to receive the Nobel Prize. Elon Musk wants to build a city of a million people on Mars, while Brian Stevenson represents young black men, young black boys, in America's criminal justice system. Products of mass incarceration on an astronomical scale, similar to the incarceration rates of Aboriginal males in Australia. Brian's grandmother was born a slave, yet Rosa Parks told him that his life's work was gonna make him tired, tired, tired. Three, understand your historical context. My grandfather took my mother to sit-ins in Chicago in the 1960s. If you're not familiar with sit-ins, that's where a group of people will go to a place, like a restaurant or a cafe or a library, and sit, hoping to be served, usually humiliated, and unceremoniously shown the door and potentially arrested. My father was killed in police custody in 1987. I was eight years old and he was unarmed. My stepfather spent 30 years in a major American corporation marginalized in middle management, dutifully providing for a middle class family in middle America. And to me, I represent the first generation born with the entitlements of civil liberties that we all understand as basic human rights. Voting, education, access to crappy diner food. Focus, that's number four. Focus those benefits of your historical context, focus those beliefs and those observations. Now, I'm a sports administrator, and I do believe in the power of sport as a viable and extremely constructive tool for social, political, and economic engagement. You? 
What do you believe in? Now, we can sit back and let those beliefs simmer, or we can challenge them. I prefer to sit back. Let you reveal yourself. Let your sincerities surface and let the venom bubble over if that's the case. And as far as observations, whether it's a right or a privilege or a choice or an obligation, it doesn't really matter. It's all about perception. Because what's a right up close can be perceived as a privilege from afar. Number five, a way forward. I stood on the shoulders of a middle manager and I saw a way. I couldn't stomach another 50 years for an incremental step forward. Now some of you are different. You're probably more selfless. You can commit your life for minimum recognition minimum reward, operating under common misconceptions and distorted perceptions. Are we obligated to advocate? I don't know, but hopefully now we understand how to. You lock in those motivations, make them unshakable. You establish some role models or become one yourself. You understand your historical context and the histories of people around you. You focus all those beliefs and all those observations to push a way forward. More simply put, as an advocate first, you take a step in, new step. Now many of you you may not need anyone to speak up for you. Need anyone to understand your perspective. Thank you. 
on social media with actions or information. Okay, we talked about the fact that people um, engage with social media, but it depends on your audience. If you're a young person, what are you going to be on social media? You're yes. going to be on TikTok, you're going to be on Facebook. Instagram. Um, or the other. Instagram, that's it, thank you. That's the main thing. You can tell I'm the old person now. <laughs> um, um, but if we want to communicate with young people, that's how we're going to do it. For older people, they don't go on it. They like to read the newspaper. They like to talk to people as well. They, they like, like to get talk. a letter in the mail. Hands yeah. up who last had a letter in the mail. It wasn't real. Has anyone had a letter in the mail? A lot of young people don't. So more people Sending carry um, or... checks as well with them. Like they don't tap. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I felt it like and, very And they actually so. have the old bank uh, yeah. passbook. book. Yeah. Um, so that means we have to vary our approach depending on who we're dealing with. If we did that to a young person, a young person probably doesn't even know what a check is. Yeah. So we have to consider how we're um, how we're sorry how we're being accountable for our actions and information. So we have to use different models of communication, different methods to get our message out, depending on our audience. Okay, providing press releases to mainstream media on the issue. Now, you have to be very careful here. Um, I've seen it happen quite a few times where, and the press can be quite dangerous, okay? Journalists can be a little bit tricky. They'll start asking people for opinions and viewpoints and then publish them, and they haven't even gone to the managers or something, okay? So now, if you're talking to the press, make sure you've got a group to do it, and make sure you know what you're going to say. I've seen it happen numerous times, your words can easily be twisted. So if you are dealing with the media, the best thing to do is write your own press release and then send it to them. Okay, presenting progress or outcomes to boards, committees, or groups. So if we're doing an advocacy or representation service, we have to present and provide feedback on how we're going. Think of those young people who escape up. We're going to have to tell them where you're up to. Yes, we've got council approval. We're trying to get some funding. We're working with this company or organisation to do it. You need to provide progress reports and updates. You don't leave it until the very end. Okay. Another video, and we're coming close to the end of the class. Okay, now, this is, um, we just talked about five steps of becoming an advocate. This one is six steps to effective advocacy. While grassroots campaigns need to be strategic, they definitely don't need to reinvent the wheel. There's a proven path for success already being used to transform public will into political power across the nation. And it's explained in the book, The DeMarco Factor. It's a multi-year process, but we can summarize the main points in under two minutes. Step one, create an evidence-based policy plan. This is where you work with local experts and grassroots organizations to develop a watertight, proven policy solution. Don't skip this step. This research sets you up for success throughout your campaign. Next, test the plan with a high quality poll. If you're going to get groups and politicians to sign on to something, you'd better make sure it moves voters first. And don't skimp on polling. Reliable results from a respected firm get you the credibility you need. Now you're ready to build a coalition. Create a resolution for groups to endorse and work hard to get lots of important organizations signed on. Got your coalition? It's time to bring on the media. The more media, the better, because media coverage builds public support for your cause and motivates your supporters. The fifth step is to make your policy into an election issue. This is when you leverage your coalition's strength to make candidates for office endorse your resolution. Then, let the voters know which candidates have endorsed it and which have not. And lastly, go win in the legislature. Because your powerful coalition got the candidates for office to endorse your cause, you begin the next legislative session with the support of a strong number of legislators committed to get the job done. You've built a powerful grassroots movement and are in a prime position for your policy solution to pass. Ready to learn more? Visit healthcareforall.com slash six steps. Okay, so that gives an example of what we need to do when we're advocating. 
strategies for an individual and for a group. Okay, so what I've asked you to do is kind of identify those kind of areas that you're passionate about. Some people talked about child protection, working with young people, age, disability, mental health, AOD, etc, etc. Okay, so um, I think we'll just do this together. All right, let's pick one area. Okay, as a group come up with an area that you want to work, that we're motivated about. Mental health, AOD, pick one. Disability, mental health, one of those. We'll do a couple of examples, okay? We're going to do this as a group. This is to help you prepare for a session of group. Pardon? Age Okay. Let's look at that. So that's, that's kind of the area. What about, let's you narrow aged care down. Aged care is huge. Okay, think about something to do with aged care. That's important. We're not gonna do residential aged care facilities because that's a different kind of course altogether. Okay, okay. Case management is the way we get, that's a service. Okay, what we're trying to do is identify um, a group or individual advocacy strategy. Okay, aged care. Okay, this is our passion, all right? This is what we really like doing, but let's break it down because it's too big otherwise. All right, what happens to a lot of people in the community who are older, who've lost their partners and their families moving home? Yes, they become socially isolated. Okay, so you break, you identify the age of care, but you know, break it down that little bit more to your house. Otherwise, it's just too unmanageable. So we're going to look at social isolation. So we know a lot of people who are older and live at home generally live by themselves. They've lost their partner. Their children have grown up, they're married, they've moved away. You know, I think about my five children. There's only two that are in the country. They're scattered around the world. This is what happens with families. Look at you guys. You've all left your home countries to come to Australia. Okay, so we're going to focus on social isolation. So. What would be, okay, if we're working with a client, we're working with one client, we go and visit him or her regularly in their home. And they have told us that they feel lonely. They feel isolated. They don't feel they're part of the community. What is a strategy we could use to advocate for that person to be included in the community? What could we do for that person? to get them engaged in community. Pardon? Social, social activities. So we could encourage them to go to Friday night, movie night at the local club. Yeah. Okay, so the strategy for this particular client is to engage them in a community activity. Yeah. That is our strategy you are left handed. Yep, I'm a lefty. Left handed people are very intelligent. No. <laughs> no, there's, there's a lot I don't know. Just. Okay, no, so yeah, aged yeah. care, that's the area. The issue is social isolation of older people. Assessment three, you need two strategies one for an individual, one for a group. The individual, okay, we're going to engage that person in a community activity. That is our advocacy strategy for the individual. Get them involved, engaged, interactive. Okay, how we do that might mean that we have to provide transport. It might mean we have to tell them when the activity is and where. Assistance. Assistance, yeah, we might need to make sure they've got some money. 
to pay for the meals, or they've got some money to buy a drink or stuff. Okay, but this individual strategy in regards to this is engage an individual in a community activity. That's an individual strategy. Let's talk about group strategy. Now, we're working in aged care. We're working around social isolation. We have 10 old clients and they are all experiencing social isolation. What strategy do we use for the group? Think about the community. Yeah. Let them hang out together and hear here. Okay, so one of the strategies is we're going to create for group day. Yeah, we're going to create a weekly um, social activity. And that is our advocacy strategy for the group. Okay, this one is different because we're helping that one person participate. This is different because we've got a group of people who are socially isolated, so our strategy has to be different. And the strategy we've come up with is we're going to create a weekly social activity. So, if you were doing aged care, this is an example of what your assessment presentation would look like. You would be telling me what the strategy is for the individual who is socially isolated, then you would tell me what the strategy is for a group of older people who are socially isolated. This is one on one. This is to help one person. This is to help a whole group. Okay, let's have a look at another one. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah? Okay, let's have a look at another area. We'll do one more area. Pick one for me. Pick an area. Nice and loud. Whoever comes up with this. I don't care what it is. Mental health. Mental health. Okay, good one. Alright, so our area is mental health. What about mental health? Okay, now remember with the older person, the older group, we were talking about social isolation. Now we're talking about mental health. What is one of the issues that we might have? Do you know what the biggest issue with mental health is? Depression. Depression, that's a type of mental illness, yes. But the issue here is for most people with mental health illness. Social exclusion. Social exclusion. Exclusion and stigma. Well done, perfect. So you can know the answers. Okay, sometimes it just helps to pull them out. Okay, so with aged care, we're talking about social isolation. We've chosen mental health. This time we're going to talk about stigma. This is one of the biggest issues with mental health. People who are, don't know how to go. Don't like to talk about it. Pretend they don't have it and are embarrassed because they have mental health problems. So there's a stigma attached. Okay, we are dealing with one client. This person has mental health issues. He has anxiety. Thank you, have anything. What are we going to do to help one client, the client we're working with one on one? Okay. He's embarrassed. He doesn't want to talk about his mental health issues because he's scared people are going to label him. They will think less of him because they have a mental health illness. It's a stigma. So, how can we help or support this individual? What can we do to advocate? How can we help change this? Common individuals who have come to the Sorry? Connect him to a counselor. Okay, so you refer. Okay, all right, well that's an advocacy strategy. You're going to refer your client to specialists. Okay. So, you might um, refer him to a psychiatrist or a psychologist, okay? So, um, so that's the, the abbreviation, so, so it could be psychiatrist or psychologist. But what else might we be able to do? Who else could we refer him to? Remember, stigma, so he's feeling bad. Okay? Sorry? Just yell it out, always come and say, we won't be going to get through this. Some examples, some ideas. What are we going to do? For this poor man, we're going to refer him. That's one of the strategies. Counselor, cool. So, we're going to refer to specialists. We 
we're going to refer them to medical practitioners, psychologists, psychiatrists. Yeah, we're going to refer them to a counsellor. Okay, so you've immediately advocated for this client by providing a referral. Now, here's the difference. We've got a group. Okay, we have a support group that we're working with in the community that is made up of people with a mental illness. The majority of the people have um, anxiety. Okay? They have mental illness and anxiety. They're concerned that they're labelled and they've got a stigma attached to them. What can we do for that group to help reduce the stigma? What advocacy strategy could we use for a group of people experiencing stigma because of mental health? Maybe try to plan the program where they can get distracted or... Okay, so some programs. Yeah. Peer support. Oh, is that what you said? Excellent. Okay. Alright, so we've got peer support. We've got programs. Um, and the biggest thing in mental health at the moment is this thing called peer support. They've actually got courses now for the first time ever. People are acknowledging that people with lived experience of mental health, whether it's themselves or their family members or their friends, they have something to do with maps. Okay, so we've seen a lot of peer support coming in mental health. You have to go. If you have to leave, just go, please. You know, you guys are responsible for your own health. Okay, so the other issue we could look at, yes, we could do peer support, we could do programs. Why is there a stigma in the community about mental health? Why does mental health get stigmatised? There's not a lot of talk about it. Exactly. It's a lack of visibility. People don't know what they don't need. Okay, so if we're looking at a group activity for mental health, to reduce stigma, one of, these group, one of the group strategies we can use is raising awareness. Okay, so that's a really good strategy. Of course, you can then start providing information and educating people. If people know more about mental health, the average person in the community knows more about mental health, so they're less likely to label and stigmatise. So, there's a couple of examples. So, next week we'll talk about this a little bit more. But I want you to think of your group, and I want you to think of one of the issues they face. We'll talk about it more. Okay? So just run through two examples. We've done social isolation for eight older people, and we have done stigma of mental health. Okay. Any comments on that? Does it make sense? Yes. It does, because this is very important. This will help you get assessment three branch. Okay, a group and an individual strategy. We'll talk about it more next week. But next week, we really, need to help start preparing. Come in with your group. Think about what area am I passionate about and an important part of that area. Aged care, we talked about social inclusion. Mental health, we talked about stigma. Youth work, we might talk about sexual orientation. Uh, alcohol and other drugs. We might talk about um, there's no rehab or lack of access to rehabilitation services. That's something we could advocate for. Okay. All right. We will talk about this, but I just do want you to think about um, what I said. And ideally, start thinking about your group now. Okay. All right. Everyone get their phones out. Got their phones out. What? I'm just laughing. I'm serious. Yeah. 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 What? 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 Everyone has a phone. Everybody has a phone. Now, I'm one of these people that I don't like phones in the classroom, but I do know everyone loves their phone, and that's why I try and encourage some of the activities we do. Okay, get your phone. Log into Crowd.Live. Everybody log into 
Crowd.live. Okay. Has everyone logged in to crowd.live? Just log, just crowd.live. www.crowd.live. It will ask you for your username. Enter a code. First of all, yeah, enter the code. The code is J4AEW. It will also ask you for your name. What's that? Form. There we go. Okay. Ground.live. Yeah, username that I can recognise because if you use a nickname and you win, and I don't know what your nickname is, you will not get a prize. Okay, crowd.live, put your name in and it will ask you for code. Shortly. Yes, I'm just getting everyone logged on first. Okay, now, what we do, I do this on a regular basis because I know it changes people and it helps me determine if you guys have actually been listening to this. Okay, so you will be asked 10 questions based on what we have learned today. Most of them will be multiple choice. There may be ones where you have to put things in an order. If that's the case, I've given you a little bit more time in the question. <laughs> question 10 is always a um, Australian trivia question. Last week we learned about the main vitamin in Vegemite. Does anyone know what the main vitamin in Vegemite is? What it is? The, yes, okay. Oh. Okay, is everybody logged in? Yes. Everyone's got their names in? Yes. Okay. Now, you are judged on two things. Accuracy, getting the answer right, and speed. There will be a prize for the winner. Everyone's logged in. I'm just going to go to the site now. Okay, all right. Okay, um, I'm going to look at the participant view. We've got 16 players logged on. Excellent. We're going to have a 10 second countdown. Is everybody ready? Concentrating? Who is going to be the winner? Now, if you've already won once, don't get a second prize. It goes to the person who pays Because we should. Are we ready? All right. Focus on your phone. Starting countdown now. I don't know. Here we go. Share answers. Or forward. Just wait. You've got to wait. You've got 10 seconds. And then you go to the next question. Just hang on a second. You need to wait. It goes All right. Now, Naomi's up top. Okay. Now, they're going to give you the next question. There's a gap between each question. Every question has a certain amount of time to answer it. Now, this one has a longer timing because you have to rank things in order. No, don't look at each other's work. Okay, here we go. Okay, Thank you. 
Now we change position again. Oh. And now you're looking at each other.
went and you would not enjoy yes. your class, then you wouldn't yes. come back. So I hope you all had a good day. Hope you enjoyed.